Hi again! I assume that you already watched the Basics 1 video. We looked at setting an IP address on a Skyway controller out of the box. And in that box, you'll find this. This is a cover inside of which there is a list of configurations. And I'm now in a scenario where the cameras are not anymore new tech cameras, as it was in the first video, but Panasonic cameras. It means that when I look at this list, I need to change to a different configuration. Now, luckily, there is a configuration for Panasonic PDC cameras, so I don't need to do that configuration all by myself. We helped you, we made it easy to change, but we need to go online and do it. So, based on what we did in the first video, we have all the tools set up to make this work. I'll just lay this aside. We'll now go to the firmware application, and in the firmware application where previously we pressed IP configuration, we are now going to press online configuration. What it means is that it's reading the ID of the controller, asking what is your ID. It's going online and it knows that we already put a new tech device core inside. I tell you, it's just as simple as clicking right there. So we are going to change to the Panasonic device core and then we may also already think about what IP address would I like my controller to have. We saw in the previous video that we can set it locally in the controller, but if we burn it into the firmware, it means that any reset of parameters of the controller will um, just default back to the, to the IP addresses we write in from the beginning. So the first thing that I wanted is to have a, a DHCP-based IP address for my controller. That's one thing. The second one is that I, I, I know that my Panasonic camera is not on 247, but 248. So I'll type in that address and basically save these settings. Changing the configuration to a different default has two things in it. One is select another default configuration. In this case, Panasonic, set the IP address, press save, and then you go back to the firmware application. We can close this window down and you press check for updates. So what happens now is the controller is asking our server, please generate a new firmware with support for Panasonic cameras with these IP addresses. So the, fir uh, the, the server does. And um, I think within a few seconds, we should see the firmware updater is, is going to tell us that now it has a new firmware, it's going to write it to the controller to complete this installation. So what we see now, after waiting just a few seconds, it's now writing the firmware, and after writing, it's going to verify the firmware as well. And now it's almost done. Exciting. All right, the controller is rebooting. And the cameras over here, hopefully we can soon control them. So just like we were waiting for the controller to boot up, and there we go, so something is happening here. It is trying to find at least one camera. That's the camera. It didn't find the camera on two. Maybe I was actually wrong. Maybe that was camera two. All right, hey, since we know how to change the IP address quite quickly, we can just open the local IP address configuration and maybe go to 47 and see if that turns out to be the address of the other camera. So maybe I was wrong about two cameras. And this also gives me, and so now it's rebooting again. And while it's doing so, I can babble on about how IP addresses needs to be in a consecutive range. So like with the new tech cameras, the IP address you set is addressing the first one that I identified as camera one. And, and then camera two, we are going to look if there is a Panasonic camera on that next IP address. Now it turns out I can see dimmed green lights. So when I press the first one, I have control over the one we had uh, no control over just before. And when I go to camera two, I have control on of the second one. You uh, also see, like I showed for the new tech cameras, that in the displays we see settings pulled out of the cameras. Those settings are often different and we put a great deal of effort into actually knowing the camera so well that you will see all those local specific settings for each camera in the menu structure that we build using these buttons. But that has been covered in so many other videos. We want to focus on getting started. And you s now saw how I changed from a new tech configuration over to Panasonic by a simple click of a different configuration and setting the IP address. So, goal is achieved. 
And that's great. There is a final thing that I want you to know, and that is the serial monitor. It's about time you know how to debug a little bit, because if you have connectivity problems like uh, you might experience, you, you want to know for sure, does the controller have an IP address? Did it actually get a DHCP address? Uh, what is the camera address it's trying to, to um, uh, connect to? The serial monitor is your friend. So in the firmware application, please keep in mind that the serial monitor here, and I'm really so sorry, it's going to, um, it's outputting a lot of debug information. It shouldn't do that in a normal case. Um, but let's just try to reset here and enable scrolling again. So what you see right now is that the controller is booting. Um, I don't know if I showed you this for the new tech camera, but at least what you can see now, it's requesting a DHCP address. And in a moment, it's going to tell you, and I'm just going up here, you can see it is telling you, I am trying to find Panasonic cameras on this IP address. And then the next thing that is happening is that you can see how it's trying to connect to seven different Panasonic cameras. It's finding two of them. It is getting information out of the cameras. It's finding two cameras to be Panasonic AWUE70s. Those are the cameras right there. And from that moment on, it's just going to communicate continuously with the cameras to make sure they are still on the network and we can get to control them. So the next video up will be basics three, where we'll be looking at how we can modify this configuration that we uh, just picked for the Panasonic cameras.